<laughs> no, I, I okay. don't know what I am, man. I don't know what I am. Well, that's the life, man. But, you um, figure it out. Yeah, I, exactly, right? That's sort of what that movie was about. <laughs> it's, you know, existentialism at its finest. Yeah, but, I'm um, going to do my intro now. Are we ready for this? <laughs> so that wasn't that. Was no, I just want to talk about Warren Oates. I'll just B-roll about Warren Oates. Yeah, Oates. we'll put it at the end of the interview. I just, wanted, I just wanted to talk about Warren Oates. Hi, it's Robert Mitchell. I'm here at day five of the uh, Toronto After Dark Film Festival. And standing beside me is a man who uh, you may recognize from such films as Brick and Dead Girl. And it's in my opinion that he's one of the finest young actors currently working in American cinema. I introduce you to Noah Segan. Hi, how, how are you? That's a lot to live up to. <laughs> well, you, you will. <laughs> Tonight's film uh, Noah was in was Someone's Knocking at the Door. And I wanted to ask you, how did you meet Chad Farron? I'm, I'm familiar with some of his earlier work, like Unspeakable. Sure. I met Chad through Trent Haga, who wrote Dead Girl. Uh, and, of course, after doing Dead Girl, Trent and I became very, very close. We're going to work on another film very soon together that he's going to direct, uh, which is going to be really exciting. And Chad, uh, Trent int introduced me to Chad. Chad and I just hit it off. We have very similar tastes. And uh, uh, Chad got in touch with me with this script that he hadn't written. He's only made films that he's written. Uh, you know, Unspeakable, and then followed up with, you know, The Ghouls, and uh, Easter Bunny Kill Kill. You know, he's a, he's a real auteur. And uh, he sent me this script, and he said, you know, you've, you've got, you know, similar tastes to me, so will you just give me your opinion on this? Because I don't know what to do with it. These guys want me to make this movie. I've never made a movie that I didn't write. And so I take a look at it, and the next thing I know, it's like six weeks later, and we've rewritten the script ten times. I see the script, and they said... This is kind of interesting. We're kind of into this. This is a lot more awesome than the movie we gave you. So why don't you go ahead and make it? And uh, from then on, we were just working together, you know. And uh, I came on to produce and, uh, you know, just uh, just collaborate. Just sort of like-minded individuals making a movie together, you know. Uh, your character in this film and other films I've seen you in, you, you go through these great character arcs and these great transformations sometimes with right in a scene and I was wondering uh, could you talk about the process of taking a character from the page and then taking that character and making it real well you know uh, I, you know it's 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 interesting I look at it's it's sort of it's sort of hard to explain I guess um, but it's just this weird thing that sort of doesn't, you know, it, it, uh, you know, I read a script and I look at it like a crossword puzzle. And I look at it as all these little clues as to why someone is doing something or what they're saying. And, and, and then I fill it in. If, if, if I've got a question as to why, I fill it in. If I've got a question as to how, I fill it in. Um, and, uh, you know, and, I, and I, I just try and create as natural a response as I possibly can you know I, I I've been very I, I get very lucky in that when crazy things happen to me in real life I have a tendency to remember them really well and so I just sort of go ahead and and try to remind myself you know what the human condition is you know and so I think that even though I may have a funny voice or a funny haircut or funny clothes I think that I, I'd like to think that whatever I'm doing in a film is uh, is natural, is coming from an honest place, coming from something that is a human reaction and not the reaction of a character on a, on a page, you know? So um, I have to ask, the beard, uh, uh, you're constantly working. Is that for a role that you're working on now? Let me sweat. <laughs> yeah, it is hot up here. I fucking sweat, man. Can I swear? Am I allowed to swear? Whatever you want, man. Really? Oh, it is after dark. Right? Yeah, man. Uh, I grew this beard for a film I just finished called Undocumented, uh, directed by Chris Peckover, produced by Snoot, who did The Wackness and Battle for Terra. Oh, really? And uh, I grew it for that, and I kind of grew my hair for that, and um, came back, and my girlfriend really liked it, so I, I'm keeping it until someone gives me a job and says shave it. Uh, I'll be totally re remiss in my duties if I don't ask you, uh, what do you think of the Toronto After Dark Festival? Uh, I think that I have never, ever, ever in my five years of traveling the world with films and festivals experienced the kind of collaboration that I have with Adam, uh, the festival director, and his team, and people like Todd, and, and people like yourself in terms of not only being really nice, which, you know, is great. Like, you know, it's great to meet nice people, and it's even better when they're nice and they're smart. And it's even better when they're nice and they're smart and they have good taste, but when they share their concepts with you 
and you really feel like you can continue to create something. And that was something that, that Adam Lopez did from the get-go, man. From the get-go of seeing our film, he was giving input that went above and beyond what a festival director usually does. And even to the extent of getting me out here, you know, and, and, and having me here and being so welcoming, um, I don't think that I've ever experienced the welcome and the collaboration that I have at Toronto After Dark. It's unbelievable. It's really, it's really an honor. It's humbling. And then to be with these films, I mean, to be with Stagoy and to be with the children and, and to be with, you know, with, with the great shorts, you know, and uh, I mean, like, you know, Blackhead and, you know, these amazing, amazing films to be part of that is, it's, it's humbling. It's really, it really is. No, it was, it was a real honor and a real pleasure to meet you tonight. It was, it was, it was my, awesome. my honor. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. It's a privilege. People are gonna think I'm like the cre you guys think you're like the creepiest, sweatiest, skeeziest. I don't think ever. they'll. I don't think they'll show They're up. They're like, ah. Uh, uh, no, seriously. It's, it's so, so hot being being an actor in Toronto after dark. It's so hot.